Hello everyone, so today we are doing an unboxing of a watch. It's a Canton and Hall Day Tripper um, slim profile watch. And uh, so let's start by opening the packaging or actually take a look at the really well made, nicely designed packaging. Um, it is Canton and Hall, and uh, uh, I think they named it after. Um, their company location, which is located around Canton and Hall at the intersection. Um, the watch company is Jack Mason Brand. Um, they make a lot of, um, I guess, uh, licensed watch for NCAA, NBA, uh, NFL, whatever. And uh, they also have a lifestyle brand. Um, I think this is their um, separate brand um, called Canton and Hall. And I think the whole entire line of the watches. Uh, from Canton and Hall are all actually very lifestyle oriented, very extremely slim, li slim lined watch that's uh, designed for, I guess, everyday wear and, and just style in general. So, um, if you actually, let me show you really fast. If you can see, I also have a original Jack Mason brand, Jack Mason brand aviation watch. And this one is, um, it's a little more expensive and uh, uh, of course, it's not slim line. It's like standard uh, thickness with Japanese movement and uh, um, the date window at the six o'clock position. Um, it's also, I mean, the reason I love Jack Mason brand is they are very well designed and they just look very, they look very good. The leather strap they use is a very high quality leather strap that's interchangeable. So um, you can basically customize a watch like really to your liking. Um, and the reason I got the Canton Hall, uh, apart from the Jack Mason lifestyle, is because I want something slimmer. And uh, so I also have a swatch that I use every day, just, you know, at work. Um, and it works really nicely. Um, the only downside with swatch is that um, the movement, uh, the quartz movement makes a quite a loud noise like um, so and, and sometimes I couldn't get used to that noise especially at a quiet environment so with those Japanese movements and I think this is also Japanese movements they are super quiet so you can barely hear it at all um, even at a quiet environment so without further ado um, actually let's take a look at the watch so it's really nice packaging uh, and it's padded on both both sides and this is like a detailed watch uh, like detailed map of the Dallas area which is pretty cool um, Canton Hall you can follow them and you can check them out uh, on the website um, so the watch itself extremely slim lined and uh, it's chrome finish on the back side Let's take this off and the backside uh, logo design it's also I think that's uh, their company location um, at Canton and Hall in Dallas uh, it's all stainless steel which is awesome it doesn't rust or it's not plated so that's good um, the model number I have for this watch is CH40001 and it's 50 meters water resistant or waterproof um, with a Japanese movement and the entire watch it just looks, it looks beautiful. Um, of course, there's a sun dial. Uh, the one I got have the, um, I guess a blue second movement, um, rose gold, hours and uh, uh, minutes. And also the crown is rose gold. Um, this doesn't have any date or anything like that. And this is a 40 millimeter, so I think it's perfect for my uh, small wrist. I have a fairly small wrist, so if you have a large hand large wrist uh, you can also try their 44 millimeter which is I think a little bit wider um, if that suits your personal preference and of course the leather strap it's a also a very good quality thick genuine leather strap and uh, the cool thing is it is also interchangeable so uh, I'm not sure if the length is same as my um, let's do a quick comparison I'm not sure if the length is same all the width no it's it's not yeah um, 
anyway uh, so if you know the width of the leather strap you can also just uh, get a replacement um, okay let's see and of course uh, take a really detailed look so it's um, it's very detailed the dial and uh, take a look at the side and those areas are actually chrome polished stainless steel um, the top part is brushed stainless steel and here is the dial where is the Canton Hall logo and if you again look at the profile it's extremely slim compared to their older style or the Jack Mason style and you can see the thickness difference so I think this is good for outdoor use and this is excellent for actually just general work um, because it's not so thick you can uh, wear shirts with it uh, same with a uh, swatch it's actually uh, slimmer than the, the swatch standard edition um, so that is nice um, I'm gonna put it on my wrist and do a test of course take off the tab first and this watch retails for $125 and I think this is a good looking watch for $125 with Japanese movements of course uh, a lot of watch at this price uh, you find is actually uh, using the Chinese movements uh, so that is no good all right The strap is, is new, so it's kind of stiff. You have to use it a little bit to break it in, of course. But uh, I'm just wearing to give you guys a demo. Of course, a nice detail. There's a Canton Hall logo over there on the buckle. All right. So it looks like that on the hand. Uh, I think it would pair up uh, pretty good with a shirt and a suit. And uh, um, in terms of comfort, it's very good. Uh, there's no weird areas that would pinch my hand or my wrist. So I should work very good for the purpose. And of course, you can see there are some uh, stitching details on the leather strip, leather strap as well. So also watch, I'll take this on and do a comparison. The Jack Mason Aviation series. And this watch, because the strap, I've, I've worn it for quite a while, so it's already broken in. And uh, so it's like that. So, depending on your personal preference, you can have a bold, nice, thick, styled outdoor watch, you know, even for work. Or if you like something slimmer, something easy and simple, um, you can get the Canton Hall brand. Um, and also, if you notice, there's a slight blue tint um, that's an anti-reflective coating on the glass elements. So this watch is also actually coated. Uh, it's it's um, anti-reflective coated glass. Same thing with this one, but it's not very obvious. You can see a slight blue tint. But there's no coating on the swatch because a, the top um, element is actually um, plastic. So. Um, and the swatch, this one cost me, um, I think, eighty dollars, uh, tax included. So it's still a fantastic watch because the swatch also have the date, and uh, uh, I guess week of the day. So uh, it's more functional than anything else, and it's also very comfortable. So all those watches are really good options. Um, so if you guys have any questions about this uh, Canon Hall watch that I just unboxed, uh, feel free to ask me in the comment section. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, have a great day.